Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to work on this really, really um, beautiful scarf. It's called Side to Side Scarf. Redheart.com free pattern. The pattern number LW2244. And you see it's worked in uh, pretty much every colors of the rainbow. And it's very beautiful. I love the spacing in it. You'll see that more as we start to make it there. Uh, looks like something one of my girls would wear. So, um, hey, it's worth a try. Um, it does take a 4 millimeter, not a 4 millimeter, but a 4 uh, regular 4 weight yarn. You will be using a J10 or a 6 millimeter hook. Your scarf will measure 6 wide by 60 long. Now you're going to be working your scarf long ways not um, short ways like this. You're going to be working it long ways like this. Um, and it does call for one skein of Super Saver yarn. Uh, what I will be doing is using a multicolored yarn and then I'm going to, it's got um, neon colors, I'll show you that in the next clip, and then I will be using a neon green with that as well. Okay, so um, if you have your computer available or printer please follow along as I always ask you to do it's a lot simpler for you so we are going to start our side to side scarf okay guys here you are looking at the yarns that I'm going to use I've already taken the wrapper off of this one this one is uh, black light by red hearts okay that's the one that I'm going to be using as a main color and then I'm going to do um, other um, kind of mixing color with the lime green Okay, so it's it's going to kind of resemble the one that we've got on our page, but these are going to be neon colors. Okay, so we are going to put these aside, and I'll use that in a bit. And now what I need you to do, and I have already completed this part, as I always do, I need you to chain 197 chains. Alright, so when you do that, your scarf should have its full length at 60 inches. Okay, so what you need to do is go ahead and do your 197 chains, and once you have completed that, you can start the video back. Now, for the first row, what we're going to do is you're going to double crochet in the fourth and fifth chain, okay? So one, two, three, four. You're going to go into that fourth chain for a double crochet, and into that fifth one for a double crochet. And don't make your um, stitches super tight. This is a, um, a loose scarf, okay? So that should give you a total of three, um, basically double crochet with your chain three here counting as one. All right, so next you're going to do a chain five. Two, three, four, and five. You're going to skip the next five chains, okay? One, two, three, four, and five. Now in that sixth chain, you're going to double crochet um, starting in that uh, sixth chain there. So you're going to do a double crochet. And it'll twist on you a bit, but you can straighten it back out. Okay, so you double crocheted in this one, and you're going to double crochet in the next two as well. So what you're doing is you're making three double crochet um, every... Uh, on every sixth chain. So you're going to repeat that and you're going to do it all the way across until you have 24 chain 5 spaces, okay? So this is your chain 5 space here. This is what you're going to count 25 or 24 of, not your double crochet, not your uh, double crochet 3 cluster, but these are your uh, chain 5 gaps. This is what you're going to have 24 of, okay? So again, one more time. You'll repeat that process, so you'll chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Grab my yarn here. Okay, then you'll skip five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And in that sixth, seventh, and eighth one, you will do double crochets. Okay, so that'll be one. And it is a wide spread, so you'll have to adjust that uh, first stitch. Two and three. So you're making basically what I classify as chain three or a double crochet, three double crochet clusters. 
okay so you're going to do this all the way to the end and i'm going to go off camera and finish that and once i have my 24 uh, spaces i'll come back and we'll move right along all right guys if you see here i've got to the point where i have 24 chain five spaces and it's too long to get all in the camera so you'll just have to trust me <laughs> all right row two you're going to chain up three. One, two, and three. And we're going to turn, and that's going to count as your double crochet now and throughout the pattern according to what it says. You're going to double crochet in next two double crochet. Okay? So the next two double crochet, oops, sorry about that, guys. You're just going to go right over the top right here and do a double crochet and double crochet. Okay? Now you're going to do a chain two. You're going to single crochet in the third chain of the next chain five. So where you have your chain five, you're going to count to the middle one, which is one, two, three, which is right here in the middle. And you're going to do uh, a single crochet here. Okay, just put it in there. Do a single crochet, chain two again and double crochet in the next three double crochet. So you skip over here to your next cluster and do three double crochet. And three. Okay, that is what you're going to repeat again. So let's do that again. You're going to do a chain two. Find that uh, middle stitch here. Make sure you turn it over because it may tend to wind around the other way. Do a single crochet into that middle or that third uh, stitch here. Do another chain two. And then jump all the way over and do a double crochet in each of the next three double crochet. Okay, so again, this is very simple. Okay, chain two. Find that center stitch again of that chain five which will be your chain three and do a single crochet and a chain two and then jump over and do three double crochet all right now you're going to do this row get in there simply wrap that this is what that's going to give you okay you're going to do this part all the way to the end again and as soon as we get to the end of this row I'll meet you back up for the next row. Alright guys I've gone all the way to the end I have now uh, turned my work this is what you should have now we're going to work row three so we're going to chain three one two three and of course you're going to turn now you're going to double crochet in the second double crochet here. You're not going to go in the first, you're going to go in the second one. Okay? So you're going to do a double crochet in the second. And then we're going to chain two. Single crochet in the next single crochet, which don't mistake the chains for single crochet. Some people that may be new to this may think, oh goody, let's go in this next one. That's not a single crochet, that's a chain. Okay? So keep in mind, you need to go to the next single crochet, which is here. Remember where we put it in the third chain? Okay, so that's the one you're going to go in. You're going to do a single crochet in the top of that. Then you're going to chain two, and you're going to double crochet in the next three. So you're going to hit all three of these next three double crochet. So one... two, three. Now you're going to repeat that all the way across. So the first thing you'll do is chain your two. You're going to single crochet in this single crochet right here. Chain two. And then go to three double crochet over the top of the next three double crochet. two and there's three okay 
so you're building and building and building um, so the, they're gonna have a couple smaller gaps where down here you had the bigger gaps um, so that's all you're gonna do across to uh, row three so you're gonna do that all the way across and then we're gonna turn and we'll start row four alright guys I have gotten all the way to the end of row three and this is what it should look like once you get there okay so now row four you're gonna chain up three and you're gonna turn get that out of the way there busy busy colors in this that's why I think I'm gonna put the strip of lime green in it once these rows start over because there's a lot going on in this color alright well kids going back to school um, it's a trendy looking scarf so I thought I would make it and one of my daughters have already claimed it so <laughs> it ain't gonna go to waste okay row four you chain three and you're gonna double crochet in the next two double crochet okay simple nothing hard about this it's just um, uh, going over the top of what we've done before you're gonna do another chain do a chain five here and then you're gonna skip um, next two chain two spaces which you're gonna skip this one because this is a chain two this one is the other chain two you're gonna skip these okay and then you're gonna do three double cro crochet in the top of these other double crochet so you're gonna jump all the way over here and totally skip everything just to get to those three double crochet all right so basically what that's doing is it's starting you know um, our row all the way back down and when you started off with 24 spaces here um, then you went to this row right here and you uh, doubled that by these little ones so these two rows each had 48 because you doubled them because um, you cut this big one into two little ones as you see right there now you're going to go back to having 24 spaces 24 five uh, chain five spaces okay so you're going to do that chain five and you're gonna skip this chain three and skip or what was it chain three chain three no it's chain two sorry I had to question myself all the way over to the next uh, three double crochet and then just go right over the top of those double crochet and do the same stitch okay so basically when you get done it's gonna look like that you went from your 24 spaces to this row had 48 this row had 48 now you're going back down cutting it back down to 24 spaces okay so do that all the way to the end of row four and then I'll come back and show you the um, next step. Alright guys I have gone all the way around I have completed my next row which was row four now you're gonna be doing a little something different not bad but rows five through ten you are going to repeat rows two through four two times okay so um, what I did here is I went ahead and changed to my neon green. This is where I'm going to get some of my uh, uh, common down part, what I would say, because this is such a busy yarn. And this um, neon green here should tone it down just a little bit. Um, I may put in also a neon pink to go with this on the next uh, step, and then I'll finish it off with this. I'm not really sure yet, but it will come out beautiful. Okay, so all I did, and I've done a, a color changing video with you before, so you hook up your new yarn if you're changing, that is. If not, then you don't worry about that step. Okay, so what you do is for row five, you're going to go back up and do row two. All right, so you're going to have three chains here. All right, and then back up to row two, so you're going to double crochet in the next two uh, double crochets from your previous row okay so then you're gonna chain two and single crochet in the third chain of the next chain five so you're just gonna go right back into that third chain and you're gonna repeat what we did um, back on row two down here and then you're gonna chain two so you chain two here you've got to chain two on the other side to even that out alright and then you're gonna jump over to the next three double crochet and just put three double crochet over the top okay whoops get that in there okay oh, my yarn 
Then you want to chain two again, and then you're going to go back into that third single crochet of that chain five, and then chain your two, okay? And then, of course, you'll go do your three double crochet. Now, you're going to do this all the way across, okay? So then, um, you're just going to then go down to row three, and then row four, and then you're just going to do that um, twice. So rows five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten are repeats of rows two, three, and four, okay? So just go back and get those, um, those rows repeated. And um, once we do that, we will get together and fasten this baby off, and then we'll work on the edging. So get that complete. And um, by the time that you get those rows completed, you should measure about six inches wide. So I will pick back up here in just a bit. All right, guys, you see the green that I have completed here. This is another duplicate section to this, but without the very bottom row. Of course, you're not going to do the foundation row again. You're just going to do the main rows, which was two, three, and four. Okay, so basically that was your uh, one set of where it said uh, row five, six, and seven. Okay, so that uh, took care of your rows two, three, four for one time. Now I'm going to do the last set, which I'm going to go ahead and do in the multicolor. Then that will take care of eight, nine, and ten. So that takes care of five, five through ten. And you're doing this pattern here twice okay so hopefully that made that a little bit easier to understand and so at this point what I'm going to do is fasten off my green and then I'm going to uh, add back on my neon um, multicolor here so I'm going to make myself a slip knot I'm going to pull that stitch back out first and then we'll go back in there and pull all the way through. Leave those last two hoops on the hook. And pull that through. And then I'm going to turn it over. And my two, two uh, little end pieces there, I'm just going to gently tie those together. So that's extra security, as I've always said in my videos. Alright, so now that I've got that going, I'm going to do this pat whole pattern here one more time. So that means you're going to do rows two, three, and four for a final time. And that's going to complete the width of this um, scarf. And then once you've completed that, then we're going to come back and do the edge. And I wasn't planning on doing this video. I was just going to come back and once it was complete and do the edge. But I wanted you to see where you should be at and look how mine looks uh, in reference to yours. So um, this is what you should be at as far as uh, row 7. Now I'll do 8, 9, and 10. Okay. Yes, Henry. Everybody says good morning to Mr. Henry here. Take good morning. Take good morning. Um, so you have three rows left. So you'll do rows 2, 3, and 4, and then you'll finish off. And I'll catch hey back guys, up. With I you. have now completed the scarf. As you see here, you have the multi-bottom. You have the green through the middle, and you have the multi-top, so it kind of evens itself out. Now what you're going to do is we're going to work on the trim, or the border. Now all I did was separate here, because um, I'm going to switch back to my green and do my uh, trim work. And all you're really going to do for your trim work is you're going to do one chain, and you're going to turn this over, and all you're going to do is just go do a single crochet in each stitch around the entire project. Now once you get to um, your chains right here, if you want to go in the chain that's fine, or if you want to do inside the gap five times that's fine. Either way it's really not going to make that big of a difference. Um, so you do that all the way across, okay? Then by the time that you get to your reverse side here, the other side, not the reverse side, my bad, Okay, you're going to chain one at your corner. Actually, you're going to chain three at your corner. Once you get to, uh, to this last stitch right here, see so you get your last double crochet in your um, corner stitch, you're going to do three chains, whether you do it in the gap or here. I will probably do mine in the gap. Um, you're going to do three single crochet. That's going to form your corner, sort of like a granny square, and it's going to allow you to turn. But now, once you get on the um, edges here, of course, this is the place where there are no stitches, so you're going to have to evenly space your stitches. 
um, however many you feel like putting on the ends make sure that on the other end you have the same amount of stitch work okay so if you put evenly space uh, 15 single crochet along here make sure you do the same thing for the 15 on the other for this other side of this okay so all you're doing now is just going to do your single crochet I'm not going to film that that's not uh, something that really needs to take up video time so this is what your project should look like once you've completed it all but your trim work okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue doing my trim work in the green and that will be it for this project okay and I will post pictures of this on my Facebook as I do the um, uh, trim and other than that that's it okay so again I hope you guys really enjoyed this video this is our side to side scarf and it was really fun and um, you can make this a sensual um, elegant or delicate scarf to wear or you can make it a fun one which is what I did because it's back to school and um, it looks uh, really cool for something that um, kids would wear as a matter of fact like I said I've already had a daughter to speak up for it so <laughs> I know it's going to her um, so okay guys until next video you guys have a great day and happy hooking